Hello everyone, I'm Lola from afropotlock.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a spicy grilled tilapia fish. So let's go through the list of ingredients. I've got curry powder, paprika, black pepper, fresh sprigs of thyme which you can replace with dried thyme, seasoning cubes, garlic, scotch bonnets, African nutmeg, which you also call the calabash nutmeg, ginger, salt, cooking oil. I've also got one red onion and this is fairly big. I'm just going to use about half of this. And of course, I have my tilapia fish. So let's get started. What I'm going to do right now is just to throw all these ingredients inside the blender. And of course, without the fish, then I'm going to blend everything together until it's well pureed. Now, this is for those who don't know. The African nutmeg is not the same as the common nutmeg that we are familiar with. Though they are quite similar and they can definitely be substituted for each other, but they are still different. At this point, I'm just going to be pouring this inside a bowl and I'm going to set it aside. The next thing I'm going to do is to baste the fish with a marinade. And before I do that, I'm going to be making a couple of deep cuts on this fish. And this is going to allow the marinade to penetrate deep into the fish. Flip the fish to the other side and repeat the same thing. All we are doing here is just to baste the fish with the marinade and I'm going to make sure I reach every corner including the deep cuts that I made on the fish previously. This is important so that the marinade can enter every corner of the fish. Now flip the fish to the other side and repeat the same thing making sure that you reach every corner of the fish. And by the way, this fish I'm working with has been rinsed thoroughly with salt water and I've also gotten rid of all the dirt in the fish. Also, this has been dried with paper towel before basting it with a marinade. Once that is done, cover the fish up with a foil paper and leave it to marinate in the fridge for at least 20 minutes and you can as well leave it overnight. Now the fish is well marinated. I'm just going to be greasing the grill pan with some cooking oil and this is going to prevent the fish from sticking to the pan. Now gently place the fish on the pan and brush it again with parts of the remaining marinade. Once that is done, I'm going to be taking this into a 350 degrees preheated oven and I'm going to leave this to cook for the first 15 minutes. So this fish has been cooking for about 15 minutes now and it's now time to flip it to the other side. Now, just a note of warning, this fish can be very tricky to flip over, especially if you have a big fish like this, as it breaks very easily. I'll just be using a foil paper to support the fish, then I'll flip it over to the other side. This is my own trick of getting it right, and you can definitely use your own trick if you have one. Now brush the second side again with some of the marinade and leave it to cook for about 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes now and the fish is almost done. I'll just flip it over once again to the first side. And at this point, I'm going to remove the foil paper that I placed here earlier. And finally, before I place it back into the oven, I'm just going to brush it one more time with the remaining marinade. I will be leaving this in the oven again for about 5 to 10 minutes or until I'm okay with the brownness of the fish. The fish is now done and I'm just going to be taking it out of the oven right now so we can all see the outcome. The skin of the fish is slightly crispy and the inside is really soft. And of course, the marinade was able to penetrate well inside the fish which makes it really nice 
I served mine with this spicy hot salsa, but you can definitely go ahead and serve it with rice or a furry roll or a tajindi or anything that you think would definitely pair very well with this fish. And that is it again for today. Thank you all for joining me. If you enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And the full ingredients for today's recipe is on my website at afropotlock.com. Until next time, I'll talk to you shortly. Enjoy.